<laughs> okay guys, I have somebody pretty special in the car with me today because we're gonna shoot. And I'm gonna give her the camera because you guys said to me last time, we wanna hear her speak more and you want me to shut up. So I'm gonna pass the camera over. Hi. <laughs> What should I say? I don't know. We are driving to location for a shooting. Yes. This is your camera now, this is not me. Okay, I'm not used to shoot the vlogs. So, okay, I'm first time in a Tesla. What are we shooting today? Uh, some, some lingerie, some portraits and also outside. t-shirt is quite cool so this is from your experience given that you're pretty experienced as a model what's the one piece of advice that you would give to photographers to photographers? yeah for like working with models working with you like be professional or <laughs> what imagine like you're working with a a new photographer because there are plenty of new photographers out there there's lots of them watching this right now what's the thing that you would say to them like just one thing if they're working with a model, they've never worked with a model before, what could they do to make the model more comfortable? To be really friendly and relaxed and don't be nervous. Because when the person is nervous, it, it can, I can feel it. Oh, <laughs> I can feel it for sure. And then I get nervous too on the shooting. So yeah, it has to be relaxed, like the whole atmosphere on the shoot. So what she's saying is, be more like me. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good piece of advice though. I am shooting on my Canon R5 with an RF 85 1.2 L lens, uh, which has given me this beautiful bokeh in the background, or um, the shallow depth of field that you can see here. Now what I have is that the sun is kind of positioned behind the trees, but it's coming from her left hand side, which is causing uh, that rim light and that hair light to kind of separate her from the background but also bring out the colour of her hair. On the right hand side I've got a river which is providing a lot of the fill light which is really beautiful and soft um, and it's like perfect for doing portraits like this. I'm not so worried about what's in the background because all of that is blurred out because of the shallow depth of field um, but what I'm asking her to do is kind of move around a little bit so we can get a little bit of movement in the hair. Um, and then try some slightly different poses, but very, very relaxed portraits. So I've asked her to kind of move down onto the floor. I've actually switched to my RF 15 to 35 lens and I'm shooting at about 15 millimeters here. What I'm doing is using that sunlight again as a rim light, but I've asked her to move her foot towards the camera, which uses the distortion of the lens to kind of elongate uh, that part of the body. You will have seen me do this in a number of shoots recently, uh, especially in the street shoots that I've been doing. Oh, maybe we can take a picture with my iPhone. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember the last shoot that we did, where we had like loads of camera equipment. <laughs> she was like, let's take it with the iPhone. <laughs> it's okay, it's Tesla. <laughs> I didn't know how to open it. And in fact, you need to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> like this. Okay. Oh, and it's a nice roof. Are you holding on to the camera tight? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Just a, little, a few seconds and it's like... Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you something else in here which is quite funny. <laughs> okay. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Everyone's reaction is, it's not me, it's not me. <laughs> That's um. true. So we're now back in the studio and I'm using a Godox AD400 with the Godox projection unit. As you can see, I'm kind of playing about with a gobo, which is actually going to try and recreate window light. You can see the position here, which is fairly far away from her because it's an 85 millimeter lens on that gobo projection unit. And then over to the right hand side here, I've got an AD300 and that's facing the wall. It's not actually trying to put any light on her whatsoever. It's actually trying to bring up some of the shadows in the background 
um, as that 8400 is on full power to try and overpower the uh, ambient light. And you can see what that looks like just here. I wanted to come in slightly closer and then get like a, a different composition here as well. Um, and then do a few portraits. Now she can't move very, very far away. It's very difficult to see whether you are in the light of that gobo or not when you're shooting. What you can see here is exactly what I'm seeing in the studio. You can't tell where that light is falling, but we got some amazing shots from this look as well. I'm about to listen to Russian music for the first time. So this is the group. <laughs> this is apparently the best Russian music in the world. And uh... So for this look, I wanted to shoot something that was a bit more like um, kind of waking up in the morning. You can see I've got a giant reflector behind me. That's because the light from behind is so strong. I needed that to bring up some of the shadows in the front. That light is coming through. It's pretty direct. It's very, very warm. You'll see that in some of the shots, but it creates this beautiful light. I'm shooting with an RF 15 to 35 lens, and I'm kind of varying the width of this to uh, kind of lead into the actual shot itself. I'm shooting at f2.8 constantly throughout this and I've got a free will variable ND mist filter on there which is why you can see the kind of light from behind is like very kind of glowy um, and not sharp at all. So that's to, just to try and recreate that feeling of just waking up first thing in the morning. Um, and I hope I captured that. How did you find the shoot? It was nice, it's usually relaxed. Nice, relaxed, tasty food. <laughs> <laughs> and the photos were good too, but yeah. you know. <laughs> so we just finished the shooting and I hope you liked it. So please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also put your thumb up. And yeah, if you want to see me more on videos, also leave a comment thank you thank you thank you but really thanks for watching and if you want to see more write a comment <laughs> <laughs> write a comment and subscribe write a comment subscribe you heard what she said this isn't me asking this is her so yeah. it's so difficult so difficult to be a blogger but thank you so much thank you and too. we will see you guys in the next one bye bye